Hey everybody, been working on a new code plug programming for tactical communications. And a lot of that, as, as you've been following me, you know I'm a big fan of DMR, digital radio. And not even just DMR, but the digital radio over analog. The reason being, for example, this is set to analog, FM, uh, this, this front radio. I currently have this one set to DMR. So if I'm talking on, on digital radio, that's all you're going to hear. You're just going to hear digital noise. So that takes care of most of, well, it takes care of all the Baofeng users. That takes care of all the standard, uh, you know, old school scanner listeners. Now, if you have another DMR radio, you can listen in and uh, unless you're doing encryption. And I'll show you that sample here in just a second. So now, the reason I'm a big fan of digital, especially DMR in this sense for my uh, tactical plan, is I can have two radios on the same frequencies, but talking at the same time, two different conversations. Um, what that means is DMR uses two time slots. There's two time slots for one channel. You have time slot one, you have time slot two. So when a radio keys up, you'll hear this stuttering effect. I don't like to use the word machine gun effect, but that's kind of the sound. Uh, so that's one time slot. If I key the second radio, so here's one radio, and now the second. Well, I'm on the same, let me change it here. So one, two. So that, that full sound is what it sounds like when both time slots are being used on the same frequency. I have this one set to command and control, this one set to tactical operations. But in the program, it's the exact same frequency. That's how this one can hear it. This one's set to FM, this one's set to time slot one, time slot two. Now, one thing I like about these BTEX is you can do encryption. Now, I've been talking about it here on the channel. There's legal ways to do encryption in the US, and that's if you have a business license. These radios can be programmed for commercial use. And if you have a business radio license, you can actually run encryption illegally. Now, I will say it's a little harder to set up, but um, you know, for the FCC to get that licensed, and, and it's a bigger process, but I always tease about having a lawn mowing service or a sewing business and you need radios for it. Uh, and, and so you can just set it up. There's ways to do it. Uh, and it, honestly, I've never done it. I would go to a commercial radio shop to have that done. But once you get that set up, then you can start running encryption. So right now, I just turned this radio to digital. So now it's running DMR. And this radio is set and encrypted. So if I key it up, you can't understand anything. So it's, 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 that's one thing that's nice about encryption. The only way you're going to hear it is if you happen to have the same key, the encryption key. So I'm going to turn this one down. I'll turn this one up. So, and I'm going to pull this back so I don't feed back. Test. Testing one, two. So that's with the same key. I'm going to turn this one down, encrypted key. This one doesn't have the encrypted key. Same test. <laughs> so... In my situation, when we do disaster communications, maybe we're relaying information for medical, uh, patient uh, security information, you know, like patient information is, is, has to be protected. So that's, a, that's an excellent use of encryption. Anyways, these uh, DMR BTECs are, are pretty slick. This is just one little feature of these radios. Wait till I start talking to you about texting, uh, APRS position reporting, and uh, I'm even talking APRS, not so much in the public realm, but APRS in, in your own little private intranet, your own local network. Um, I will also say that uh, even though it's encrypted, you know, obviously you can still be found by direction finding. So I'm going to be teaching you like short, short communication if you have to. Uh, I'm going to use the texting feature a lot of times because I can say more and get it over the air a lot quicker. But anyways, uh, so you'll still have to plan how to tactically communicate. 
uh, don't be down there keying up forever and you know everybody can find your location but this uh, really cool feature you can have command on one time slot same frequency you can have uh, ops on another frequency or on the same frequency just another time slot so uh, you can get more radios on one one area there